Hey guys, it's Mark. Uh, you know, we got some great reviews on the Saturday of Wild House Network video. Uh, you know, lots of new followers. I'm glad you guys are subscribing. Uh, and you know, we've been seeing a lot more questions, comments. You know, I'm trying to answer as many as fast as I can. I, my inbox is flooded lately, and uh, I've also been getting a lot of new questions. Uh, recently, received a question. Uh, Mark, do you know anything about carpentry? And I do. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try to walk you through here a basic thing. So we have a chair here. Now I did not make this chair, but uh, I'm going to show you guys how you can make the identical chair. And you know, fairly easy, you know, no problem. I'm going to show you the tools in a second. We're going to go over the whole thing. I'm going to move kind of fast. We don't have a lot of time. I'm trying to make my videos fairly short. I know the the Wi-Fi one went a little long. I'm going to try to make these a little shorter and to the point. So uh, in the next clip, you're going to see the tools we're using. All right, guys, we got the whole tool lineup here. This is the loadout for this job. Uh, you know, I'm going to try briefly cover them. And so you know what we're getting into, and you're definitely going to need these tools to get this job complete. Uh, first thing we have, we have our set of small wrenches. You know, that'll go with our adjustable wrench. You know, I'm just going to call it a wrench because we're not trying to dive into any advanced terms of, or carpentry, carpentry type situations like that. I know you guys are a lot of amateurs out there just trying to assemble a chair. Um, we got our screwdriver here. That's definitely going to come in handy when we're tightening those bolts on. Uh, you know, some simple stuff around, you know, tape measure. We're just when you're measuring out the leg lengths, you know, you gotta make sure they're the same. I can't stress enough that you know you're definitely definitely marking the spots on, on the wood cuts because otherwise we're gonna run into trouble along the way. Now uh, your level, we want our chair to lay flat. You know, I think I think everyone would agree with me they've been in that situation where the chair just rocks and we're building the chair and we're definitely gonna make sure it's it's stable. Uh, I also got the rubber rubber mallet here. Now I realize a lot of these tools you guys won't have. These are these are fairly advanced tools that the average average person has. I can't stress enough that you should go to Lowe's, Home Depot. You know, talk with their professional staff. You know, they'll definitely show you where you can get these tools. You might have to special order a couple of them, but you're gonna need them. I can't stress enough. The project won't work without them. Uh, you got some WD-40 here. This is just for those those tough screws you can't quite get in. Now you're gonna want to just add some simple lubrication. You know, it's real simple. This can cost around five dollars at Home Depot. I would strongly suggest. I mean, this you may not use a lot on this project, but you're definitely going to need some for other projects you work on in the workshop and just you know have around the house. You know, it definitely comes in handy. Uh, some duct tape for those uh, those situations where you just really need to hold things together. And when it comes down to it, if you don't have any, you know, it could be it could be it could mean running out to the store in the middle of something or grabbing another clamp if you're low on clamps there. We got our clamp, of course, you know, if we're doing any mending of woods, you're going to want to hold that together, make sure that they're very solid and flush with the surface. Uh, the most important thing by far in this project is the safety glasses. Uh, if I don't stress anything enough, it's that you wear the safety glasses from the start of the project to the, to the finish. You know, we have a lot of accidents occur and you can't predict them. So you got to put the safety glasses on and, you know, Protect your eyes, you know, because our brain's right behind the eye and you don't want to get anything in your head and lodge there. Screws can go flying when you're working, so, you know, just definitely have the protection ready to go. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get our wood laid out, ready to cut, and we're going to get this project underway. So I'll see you guys in the next clip. All right, guys, first off, I want to apologize. We totally forgot to film the actual cutting the wood. Uh, I'm going to try some of what we did really fast, so bear with me. You know, we got to keep this video short. Uh, this is our back piece, and uh, we actually did this. is all one piece of wood. We went through, and uh, you know, the trick here is we use a standard 6x20, and the trick here is you drill in the corners to get these slats perfect. Drill in the corners, and you drag your drill press along, and just cut out the slats. Now, once you don't cut them out, you're definitely going to want to throw in your, uh, your, your anchor points, your two little anchors, for the base of the chair to attach to. Then we ran it through a planer, and we actually did a maple finish just to kind of kind of finish off the whole thing as a back piece. Next, we went ahead and did the legs. Now this is where your your measuring and your level are going to come in handy because you got to make sure it's straight. Otherwise, you're not going to show up very well. It's gonna it's gonna wobble. You're gonna be very very upset with your chair in the end. Now we went ahead and we we drilled them with a quarter inch drill bit and put our anchors in there for our screw points. And then we went ahead. Ran these guys through the planer a couple times, really just finished them out, and then we uh, did a maple finish on them as well. And so these are just all, we just, just finished these pieces, so. Uh, the next is our base piece. Now a lot of you thinking, hey, that looks like one piece. It's not. 
we actually did, uh, we actually took a random, or a standard, sorry, a standard 8 9 piece, 8 by 9 and we cut it in half. Now, a lot of you are saying, well, you can't see the seam, and you can't, because what we did is we cut it in half, we glued it together, we really got that clamp on there tight, and then we did the maple finish, so it turned out perfect. So you can't even tell there's a seam, but there is. On the back here, we went ahead and glued these guys in on the corners, you know, on the drill pieces, and uh, we got the grain here going, and uh, that's pretty much finished up the chair. You want to go against the grain with the chair. It's pretty simple that way. You know, we put in a lot of work here and definitely some dedication. So um, in the next clip, we're going to start the assembly process. So uh, just bear with me till then. All right, guys. All right, guys. I got all the materials laid out, ready to go. Now, a lot of people like to put their screws out. You know, I say you take the screws, you throw them down so you don't lose any of them. And uh, oh, would, you, would you look at that? We actually... Uh, I actually just had a break in a piece right there. That could have right into the eye. Thank God we're wearing the safety goggles. That's all I got to say. That could have been dangerous. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and start the assembly process. All right, guys. Here's the final product. It's looking great. As you can see, everything is just square. If you can bring the camera on the side and really get a profile shot of this, everything's squared away. I mean, look at that, you know, straight up back. You know, I'm glad we ran through the planer, and I'm glad I, I told you guys you're going to need one in the tool section. So if you didn't use one, you know, you're lost. The chair probably didn't turn as well. I mean, it's sturdy, too. And as I was saying, it's real sturdy. Like, this chair, you can really sit on this thing. It's just great. And now, you know, I hope this helped. And this is the official time. I'm saying it. Start to finish. Go ahead and take the goggles off, you know. Kept your eye protection there, and that was important. I really hope this video helped you guys. I know I've seen questions on the forums and on the YouTube and about just simple carpentry things. And you know, it starts with things, projects like this, and it really gets on to bigger things. So I really hope I got you guys interested in the hobby here. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, I know I went fast. Just drop them in the, in, the, in, the, in the comment section below. Shoot me a private message. You know, I'll try to respond as fast as possible. All right, good night, y'all.